Hey everybody, uh, Mr. K here. Um, we're going to talk real quick about staying now. And this is going to have a lot to do with uh, writing haikus. Haikus are written as impressionistic poems, which means that they happen right now. They're, you write them as you feel them. How do we stay now? <clears throat> First thing we do is let go of the past. Let go of regrets, let go of resentments. We do that with the power of forgiveness. Forgive ourselves for mistakes. Forgive anything else that's going on around us that's negatively distracting. Forgive others' transgressions, not because it lets anybody, including ourselves, off the hook, because it takes the weight, that giant backpack, off our, off our shoulders and allows us to stay now, where things are actually happening, where life actually is happening right now. The other thing we have to do is get rid of anxiety, worry, and we cannot live in fear, okay? <clears throat> Regardless of what you may have heard about on the news today, uh, anxiety worry and fear. We have to trust in order to stay now. Let go of the worry of the future. Let go of the resentment of the past and, the f and let go of the fear of the future by using trust. How do we trust? Well, some of us believe that uh, no matter what we worry about, it's going to happen anyway. The other part of it is <clears throat> if we continue to do the right things, we stay now and act constructive instead of simply reactive then the right things will happen. It's not coincidence. It's cause and effect. Okay? So learning how to stay now. <clears throat> that's the basic theory. Now, <clears throat> here, is a, here are a few, um, few strategies. First thing is, uh, when you feel yourself uh, in the future worrying, or you feel yourself being angry about the past, two things you can do nothing about. You can manipulate right now. Gently invite yourself back. Don't get further angry at yourself by saying, there I am, straying off again, being worrisome or being regretful, and you get mad at yourself. Just gently invite yourself back into the now, which conveniently is happening right now, so it's not that hard to do. Then make it a goal. Make it a conscious goal. Right? Today, I will try to stay in the here and now, listening, paying attention, being very mindful of my own feelings. Make it a goal, not just something you do passively. Secondly, Practice acceptance. <clears throat> so as things happen that may uh, bring you to the past or bring you to the future, get you out of the now, just accept them. Don't worry about them. Don't get angry at them. Don't fear them. Those are all lies. Just accept them. There they are. They have no value. They have no immediate concern. I accept that they're there. But what is it doing for me right now? Okay. And question your thoughts. When you start feeling uh, all those things that we were talking about, regret, worry, shame, guilt, anxiety, fear, what's really going on? Am I really afraid? Or is there something else going on that's keeping me from uh, staying here and now and very aware of what's happening around me? <clears throat> These are all things that uh, are going to help us be good haiku poets. Haiku poets. Excuse me. Um, and then finally, follow. Okay. Follow a passion. Follow direction. Um, if you're following something that you're passionate about, uh, you're naturally not going to be stuck anywhere else. All right. If we've learned anything in our trip on trip and ship so far, it's to, it's to follow the passion. And I do believe there was one entrepreneur we spoke to that said, "Work on your spirit. Work on yourself. Stay right here. Stay right now. Think of it as a guitar tuner." Okay, uh, if, you're, if your strings are off, too high, too low, you're trying to get them right into the middle, all right? And when you find yourself getting too high or too low, just come on back, right in the middle. Don't get angry, just come on back, all right? Think about that, practice that, research, do a little of your own research on how to stay in the now. I didn't make this up. This, isn't, this is out there, all right? We have an activity tomorrow based on this.